related to if if your brother was a serial murderer, you just wouldn't readily talk about it. Because and part of it is because it's a horrible thing, but part of it is you don't want people to look at you funny because of that and think, well, maybe she's, you know, you know, something's crazy upstairs. And it was kind of like that where families were so shamed that Imperial Japan was doing all these things even though they were Japanese Americans. It was guilt by association and shame by association that they didn't talk about it. And when they got out of the camps, they, it wasn't, people had lost legal battles about going to camp and it didn't seem like there was a football to do anything about it coming out of camp. And it took, it wasn't until the 80s, the late 80s, with the redress and some reparations made, really by the next generation, that people even started to talk about it. So the Japanese Americans that I meet on the journey, they talk about how, and then their sons say, usually third generation, that they never talked about it. And their parents didn't want to talk about it. And in my own family, we'll have things that someone just doesn't talk about. And as a kid, you pick up on those social cues sometimes, and you just want to ask, because no one ever talks about it. So you assume it's verboten or something. So a lot of that, right into the 80s, was just kind of this self-made wall of silence, I think. 